Hey guys, it's Josh. So you're thinking about learning Uyghur, huh? Yakshi. I'm about to give you a quick review of one of the few and probably most comprehensive resources available for the Uyghur language. Hopefully by the end you'll be able to figure out if this is something that's the right thing for you. This is Uyghur. It is an elementary textbook that is written by Golnisa Nazarova and Kurban Yaz, published by the Georgetown University Press. As you hopefully can tell from here, it's about 500 pages, a little more than 500 pages in length, weighs about three pounds. It's a good hefty book, and it also has a, a CD, a supplementary CD here in the back that I'll dive into here in just a second. This is a textbook that, that is designed for pretty much the absolute beginner. Uh, it has a heavy emphasis on reading and writing, which basically means that if you can't get past that first chapter, the rest of the book is going to be really difficult. Um, the good news is, is that they do have a lot of good exercises to help somebody that's never been introduced to that Uyghur script before. helps you learn how to read, how to write the script. The rest of the book is divided into 15 different chapters. It covers things like uh, greetings, introductions, ordering food, health, travel, weather, all of that type of stuff. Uh, the thing that I really love about this textbook is that on top of the fact that each of the chapters really covers the topics thoroughly, it also has a lot of supplementary material. Things like uh, Uyghur proverbs that are scattered throughout, color photos that give a lot of really cool perspectives on the uh, province cultural and historical notes that I think would be really interesting for anybody that's never been to the province or if you've only been here for a short period of time. Uh, it really gives a lot of historical and cultural background to uh, the Uyghur language. The grammatical explanations are really pretty easy to understand in this book, which I really liked, and a lot of the examples they use are really relevant to the Xinjiang province. So for instance, when you're in the middle of a lesson about directions, one of the exercises that the book asks you to do is to take a look at this uh, map of the Xinjiang province and to give directions to different cities based on that map. I think that's really cool. The book remains politically neutral for the most part, although there are references to another name for Xinjiang that uh, for us here in the province would probably be frowned upon. Uh, but if you're outside the province, it doesn't matter whatsoever. Uh, let's look at the DVD for a second. So the DVD companies that, that accompanies the book, it covers vocabulary for each lesson and has individual exercises that go along with what you're learning. Most of it is audio, although there are, there are a couple videos. And that, here's my take on this. The, the DVD itself is useful, but there are a few things that I'm really not incredibly pleased with. The first is the quality of both the audio and the video, which makes this recently published book feel like it's already 10 years old. Uh, the second thing I'm not happy with is that the audio files aren't available in an mp3 format. Which means that in order to use the program, I have to literally be in front of my TV screen. I can't download it to my iPhone or my mp3 player, which for me is something that I personally like to do. An important thing to note is that this textbook is geared really towards the classroom. There's lots of references to teachers, to classroom, to students, to fellow students um, that really wouldn't make sense for somebody that's uh, doing more of a uh, self-taught way of, of learning the Uyghur language. That's not to say that you couldn't use it if you're doing self-study. I think that it could be really useful if you're with a tutor. But for self-study by itself, I don't know how helpful or useful this book might be. So to sum up, despite a really disappointing CD that comes with the book, the book itself is really beautifully laid out. And it's one of the best resources I've seen for learning the Uyghur language. If you're going to have the opportunity to be in a classroom setting, or if you do have access to a good tutor, I think it's a $60 well spent, uh, and one that will help you really get a better grasp of the Uyghur language, how to read, how to write, and how to speak it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I've got. Hope you enjoyed, and best of luck learning the Uyghur language.